Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over how to load ISO games for the PS2 from a USB drive. It's pretty simple. Um, I went ahead and I ordered one of these memory cards. There's different types of memory cards at all different prices. But uh, yeah, you're looking for the FMCB. I'm sure if you do a a search up there, um, lots do come up. Um, even these blank ones, they're still pretty much the same. But yeah, you can go ahead and search. This just so happens to be the one that I ended up getting. So if we scroll down, we can see our compatible list. Um, I'm running a 3900. So we can see that it is supported. Um, obviously with a hard drive, you're going to need a uh, the network adapter that goes back on the back. You can either get, uh, we might even have one right here. Yeah, right here, this is the one. Um, you can get IDE or SATA. I don't know about getting IDE, IDE hard drives anymore. It's pretty old, so you might want to go for the SATA drive to go plug it in. But if you go ahead with the USB, we can see that we're able to load USB because it is supported. Um, as for the hard drive loader, you still need the uh, network adapter, and the type is a fat one. So. But you can go ahead and check it out. There's lots of other cards to use. That just so happens to be the one that we're using. Uh, as for the games, we're going to be using Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, as well as True Crime of LA. Um, these two games I do own, so um, you can download them for for copyright reasons. I won't show you where to get them, but I'm sure if you type in Google, go to Google and type in PS2 ISO you'll find a place to go ahead and get them. So let's go ahead and just copy these over to our USB drive. I already have it plugged in, but you can go ahead and just type in, here we go, USB drive. We just make a DVD folder and just copy them over there. Just make sure that your drive is FAT32. They need to be FAT32, so while they're copying, I will show you that we do have a FAT32 drive here. If it allowed me. Um, there we go. There you go, and you can see that I do have a FAT32 drive. Um, now you're with FAT32, I believe it's limited to 4.7 gigs, or you know maybe 4.3. So you just gotta check the size. We may make another video of how to uh, to get them on there to be able to load them. But if you click properties, you can see that's only three gigs. So. We're good there, as well as this one, I think it's two gigs. Yeah, so we're pretty good to go there. Let's just let that copy over, and I will show you what we need to do next. All right, so you can see I do have Tony Hawk Pro, or Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Here is my FM CB card. My USB is all done. Uh, True Crime is there. It's in the case as well. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and we'll plug this in. We'll just go to our PS2. We'll plug it in the... First one there, we'll grab our USB. Go ahead and you can see down here at the bottom, we do have uh, two ports here, so it doesn't matter which one, we'll just go ahead and plug it in the bottom one, that's, that's fine, it's a little tricky to do it one hand. We'll go ahead and flick the power on and then hit our power button. So let's jump out over onto the screen. Okay, so we'll just give that a few seconds to load. It shouldn't take too long to load in and then we should be good to go. There we go, free Mac boot. And we're loading in now. It's gonna give us a few more options. Uh, I won't go over them all, but we'll just do a quick little skim through them. The open PS2 loaders, which is what we'll be using. But you can see that there's other options here. Now, if you get a different type of memory card, it may have different options. Um, but yeah, they're pretty cheap. 25 bucks and you can have one. It's a lot better than old school where we had to put a mod chip in or whatnot. So we'll go up here. We'll go ahead and launch our open PS2 loader. Okay, and once we get in here, we can just go into settings. Uh, if you haven't used your memory card yet you just need to go into settings and we'll go down here to USB device start mode 
go ahead and click X on that and press down twice to go to auto then X and then we'll go ahead and hit OK on it from there we can hit the circle and it will load our games uh, we have the two options here we can go ahead and launch uh, we'll go with Tony Hawk's give it a few moments here to load it does take a little bit of time to to get the game loaded but uh, it is PS2 so you can't expect that much you get to uh, you get to play the game so just give it a few moments and uh, we should be able to get right into it here okay there's our black screen and we should see the intro pretty soon here and there we go so we can go ahead and hit X on this here we don't have to watch the intro we'll skip everything that's there skip that as well okay and there we go there's our main title screen we should get the load loading uh, status bar pretty soon here and yeah there we go but that's basically it for the video uh, I'm gonna start making other videos for the PS2 as well as PS1 so if you're interested go ahead and hit that like button uh, I'm going to be covering the PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, and hopefully we'll see some action on the PS5. Um, if so, I will be covering that as well. But yeah, if you did like the video, go ahead and hit a like. And uh, if you have uh, any comments that you'd like to uh, see in other videos, go ahead and leave a comment and uh, we'll see what we can do. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And that's it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.